What's up guys, Dustin Dewey here, back with the Nashville Predators Gym Mode, and we're into round two against the St. Louis Blues. St. Louis! What's up, St. Louis? And before I start, I had an idea that I want to try out. Um, so, I was thinking about it, uh, our AHL team has been removed from the playoffs, and we basically have a stud waiting. It won't, it won't take away a year of his contract, or anything, like it won't ruin his rookie season, but Blake Clark is an 80 overall. He's got pretty sick stats already, and I feel like he could really help us out in the playoffs, so I'm going to call him up. Um, for now, I'm going to leave Beck down, but he has a pretty good, um, other than his awareness, he's got really good blocking and stick checking, and he actually has some offense too, so uh, for now, I'm going to call up Clark, and we're going to give him a shot up here, um, and I was thinking I'm going to get rid of Smith. Uh, Smith just really hasn't been helping us out that much, so... Uh, Clark's going to go in for Smith, and then Smith is going to sit, there we go, um, so we're going to keep our lines the way they are right now, we're just going to leave them like this, Clark's just going to sit on that third line with Fisher instead of Gucci, hopefully they can hook up a little bit, um, however on the power play I'm going to move LeBlanc off and put Clark in, because Clark actually has better offense, and better uh, faceoffs. so... He's only got like a 62, but Clark has a uh, 68 face-off, so uh, I'm going to put him in there. Yeah, we're going to leave it like that. There we go. Um, other than that, I'm going to leave it like this, I think, for now. We're going to see how, how it works out, but yeah, I kind of just want Clark to get in there. I think he can help us a bit more than Smith can, and like I said, if we need Beck, we'll see how the stats are going. Maybe we'll put him in, but... Yeah, I figured I'd just start off and do that quickly. I was really thinking about it after the last episode, because they got eliminated, and I was like, holy crap, he's already an 80 overall. Like, I, I kind of looked at his stats, and I was like, oh my god, he's actually got pretty sick offense. So, Plus, it'll be like kind of like a Darren Helm thing. Like, he won't waste a year of his rookie season, but, you know, he'll help us in the playoffs. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I figured it was a good idea. Anyways, uh, so let's get into the uh, differences here. Stat Central, I'll show you guys playoff tree first before I forget to do that. So we got Calgary, San Jose, Nashville, St. Louis, Buffalo, Boston, Columbus, and Washington. Um, where are the player stats playoffs? Um, we had a ton of guys with at least a point every two games or better. The biggest thing for me is I hope we didn't waste all of our points. Hopefully we're not too screwed. Yeah, like we had 24 points among our first line right now. So if they keep it up. We should be golden, but obviously. Um, so three games. So we have 11 players with the point every two games are better. Goalie-wise, Rennie could be doing better. He's 2.6, but he's 4-1. He's 9, 90, 78 save percentage. He's got one shutout. So, yeah, he could definitely do, be doing better, but um, right now, you know, it's, it's decent. It's not the best, but I hope he picks it up. Now, St. Louis is right here. There we go. They have uh, four players with a point over two games or better. Oh, actually, sorry. I guess seven players with a point over two games or better. They've only played four games. They will, they swept whoever they played, so uh, good for them. Goalie-wise, Halak has been playing phenomenal. 1.63. Um, I guess he got pulled for some reason. Maybe he let in too many goals or something. But He doesn't have a shutout, but he's 9.528. He's playing ridiculous, you know. So that's an issue to look out for. Um... <laughs> basically uh, let's do our team stats uh, da -da -da -da. wins up here so St. Louis is there, we're right here uh, goals for per game we're at 5, they're at 2.75 goals against per game we're at 2.8, they're at 1.75 power play we're at 26.1, they're at 10% and PK we're at 81.8 they're at 89.5, I don't know why our PK is so bad, but it wasn't bad in the, in the season. I don't know what the deal is right now. Honestly. Honestly, I don't know. I think there's a loose wire. I can hear like a psh in my, in my left ear. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's view the lines here fast. So we got Skinner, Granlin, Silverberg, Cerveni, Wilson, LeBlanc, Clark, Fisher, Setaguchi, Prust, Kelly, Peros. Defense, we got Jones, Weber, Yozy, Ellis, Heckholm, Sanguinetti, and Rene and Helberg. Uh, St. Louis is right uh, here. They got Schwartz, Bacchus, Oshi, Steen, Roy, Tarasenko, Sabotka, uh, Berglund, Moss, Jones, Boldu, and PRV. They got a really good team, actually. 
Yeah, they have a pretty solid team. We could be in trouble. <laughs> and then I know defensively they're going to be sick. Yeah, Shattenkirk, Petrangelo, Bo Meester, Cole, Jackman, Polak. That, that's ridiculous. They have way too good of their defense core. Like, and they don't have any offensive defense. They kind of rely on their on their actual offense players. But defensively they're just shut down, you know. Uh, and then obviously goalie, they got Halak and Allen. He's only an 85 though, so I kind of wonder if we can score on him. Hopefully. Um... I, the, the other thing I wanted to do is, like, I'm not sure what I want to do about our PK, because it's just, it's just not doing anything, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. We don't really have, like, another really good defensive player, I don't think. Uh, let's go defense awareness here. So, Weber, Yozy, Ekholm, Wilson. We got Wilson, Silverberg, really. What is Silverberg like? Maybe we'll put him in there. His awareness is good, but his shot blocking and stick checking isn't good. Fisher, Granlund. Is, he's got good awareness, but that's it. Kelly's already in there. Uh, LeBlanc, Sanguinetti, Prust. What do we got, Yozy? Uh, we could put Sanguinetti in there, I guess. Would that be weird? <laughs> Would that be weird if I put a defenseman as a forward in the, in the PK? Yeah, he's probably like our best bet, honestly. Let's put him up there. I don't see why that's a big deal. It should be fine. Yeah, let's keep it like that. I'm going to put uh, Elif on the, on the right side, though. Yeah, let's try that out. I don't know. See if it helps. If it doesn't, whatever. All right, game one. Let's do this. St. Louis, we're at home in Nashville. Come on. We had a pretty good series last time, but... Okay, good kill to start. Let's get some shots, guys. They score on the power play right away. Oh, we take way too many penalties. Look, look at this. another power play already. So I think that's four power plays in the first period for them. Okay, we don't score on ours. That's great. Come on, guys. Sanguinetti ties it up. Awesome. Power play, nothing again. Wow. Oh, and then Berglund scores because we can't convert on the power play. LeBlanc scores. There we go. Ties it up. All right, not bad, not bad. Third period, it's all up to this. Come on, Nashville. Let's go, guys. Yes, power play, Silverberg. Thank you. Power play again? <gasps> nope. <laughs> Come on, guys, hold it off, hold it off, hold it off, hold it off. There we go. 3-2 victory in game one. 32-30 to were the shots. Silverberg on the power play with the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Woo! <laughs> I hope uh, Clark got an assist on that. That'd be great. Hmm. That would be better than expected. No, I didn't. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Just kidding. It's all right. We got the win. There we go. All right. So one nothing series. That was a solid game out of us. Game two. Let's go. Let's go. We had a better defensive game there. That was good too. Oh my! First shot, Renny. Come on, dude. What is your deal? Oh my god, big kill, here we go. Come on, Nashville, let's get a Geno. Yeah, power play. Ugh. Our power play is so unreliable. We have like a 26% power play to you right now. I don't know what's going on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yes, Skinner, there we go. Yep, yeah, another one. No, come on. Ah, every time we, they like kill off a power play and then they freaking score like instantly. All right, Silverberg ties it up, 2-2. Two -two. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Uh, big kill there. Power. Oh. oh, nice. Ellis. There we go. Ryan Ellis. 3 2. Come on. Hold it off, guys. Hold it off. 3 2 victory again. Nice. 35 24 with the shots. Another 3 2 victory. Silverberg and Ellis in the third period. Whew. All right. There we go. There we go. Okay. 2 nothing series lead. We're still letting in like two goals on 20 shots, but. You know, whatever. At least we're scoring. That's great. Ooh, Clark got two apples in that game. Clark uh, got an assist on Skinner's goal and on Silverberg's goal. So that's good. Clark has two apples so far. He's just, offensively, he's pretty sick. Like, he's a sick player. So I'm extremely happy that I was able to get him in the lineup now. Game three. And I think that was a good decision because, yeah. I mean, Smith on the third line, just nah. All right, come on, guys. Big kill. There we go. Come on, guys. Oh, man, they're getting lots of shots here. Let's go, Nashville. Come on. 
All right, even shots. Second period. Uh, power play. Come on, guys. Tie it up. Tie it up. Power play. Oh, my God. Come on, guys. Tie it up. Anybody. Oh, my goodness. Really? Okay, come on. Third period. Tie it up. Tie it up. Anybody? Anybody? There we go. Weber on the power play. Thank you. It's in the slot. Power play. Oh, but no. Come on, guys. Get ahead. Oh, geez. Oh, OT. Somebody step up. Big kill. Step up. Oh, God. <sighs> all right. That's okay. That's all right. We're still up 2-1. Still up 2-1. Better game out of Rene. I don't know why we couldn't score, though, man. Like, we have such a good team, too. It's just ridiculous. That's all right. They had a good game. They had a big defensive game. We gotta just gotta, gotta come back. Shake it off, come back. Game four. Come on, guys. We gotta get ahead. Let's get a stranglehold in the series here. There we go. Weber. First shot. There we go. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. No, keep going. <laughs> ah, come on, Rennie. Like, what is your deal, bro? Four shots. Let's go, power play. Oh, my God. Power play. Got a score. Oh, man. 20 shots. Somebody score, please. Anybody. 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 Blake Clark. Setaguchi. Uh, Prust. You can put one in. Peros, maybe. Wilson. Skinner. Ellis. Ellis. There it is. I just had to say his name. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's 2 1. There we go. 42 to 26 for the shots. 3-1 series lead. I just had to keep naming names until I hit the right one, right? As soon as I said Alice, he scored, you know? Just got to call him out. <laughs> oh, man. I was getting a little anxious there, but we won, so that's good. All right. 3-1 series lead. All right, all right, all right. It's been a tighter defensive game, or defensive series, I guess. It's been crazy, so... All right, here we go. Game five. We're up 3-1. Just got to finish her off. Big game here out of the kids. Let's go. And Bacchus apparently snuck one in somehow on the power play. Okay, Skinner ties in on the power play. Let's go, guys. They're getting a lot of shots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. I wish we would convert more on that power play. All right, Cerveni. There we go. 2-1. Second period. Big kill. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. We need an insurance marker here. Come on. Yes, power play. Didn't even get a shot. <laughs> Third period. Come on, guys. No, kill it. There we go. Big kill. Big kill. Whew, I'm getting so antsy right now. Come on, guys. Okay, it's up to you, Rene. It's up to you, bud. It's all you, baby. Here we go. Silver rig empty netter. Big win. There we go. 3-1. They outshot us 31-27. Rene actually had a bit, pretty big game for us. We're moving on to the conference finals for the second straight year. Big 4-1 series win over the St. Louis Blues. All right. There we go. There we go, Nashville. Winning games. Man, there we go. So who scored? Skinner from Jones and Ellis. Cerveni from Wilson, LeBlanc, and then Silverberg from Skinner and Granlund. Nice. There we go, ladies. All right. We're going on to the next series. Big win there. Big win. Sharks and Flames. So who are we going to be playing here? Ooh, looks like they're going to game seven. Sharks and Flames. Are they going to be Sharks or the Flames? Let's find out. Sharks or Flames? Flames. We're taking on the freaking Calgary Flames. <laughs> All right, Calgary Flames. There we go. Let's take a look at our stats here. How do we do? Uh, player stat. Let's look at the team stats quickly, actually, first. All right, so we're eight and two. We got a 3.7 goals for. We're still kind of keeping on track. Goals goals against has gone down to 2.2, which is good. Power play 23.8, and PK 81.5. So it's kind of holding holding there. We're undefeated at home, which is good. Two and two on the road. Um, player stats. Let's see what we're doing here. Pretty sure Clark has two apples, which is not bad for a rookie. Like he's just coming in, you know. So uh, yeah, he's got two apples in five games. That's not bad at all. All right, so Skinner has 14 points. Silverberg has 13. Granlin has 10. 
So they did slow down a bit, but I mean, honestly, they still we still have 37 points out of these guys out of our first line. 37 points in 10 games. Um, you know, <laughs> it's pretty good still. Uh, like, well, we had 24 before, so still we got. I think we only got 13 points out of them, but you know, that's not bad. Uh, Weber has nine. Jones has seven. Wilson has six. Fisher has six. Ellis is six. Cerveni has six. Sanguinetti has five. LeBlanc has five. Setaguchi has four points. Clark has two points. Nice. There we go. Ooh, Eckholm got an assist there. Not bad. We got Setaguchi's a minus three, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, goalie wise. So Rene is now at 2.08, which is a lot better than he was doing. 8 1 and 1. 9 2 7 3 save percentage. One shutout. Pretty decent. One assist. Wow. All right. <laughs> all righty. All righty. Um, I'll show you guys playoff tree, and then maybe I'll I'll see if anybody progressed. I don't think they would. So Calgary, Nashville, the two top teams in the West out of the two divisions, and Buffalo, Washington out of the East. I think this will be a good series. Honestly, I think it's gonna be a tough one. I think Calgary's got a pretty solid team. Um, yeah, progress reports. Let's see if anybody's got anybody here. So Clark is still on eighty. Uh, look at that though. Look at his like shooting. Oh my god, like plus seven to accuracy for slap shot, plus sixes to wrist shot, puck skills, look at that, plus three, five, and a four, offense winners plus three, skating plus two, physical plus six, what is that, body checking, face-offs plus one, man, I'm actually happy that face-offs go up now, it's way better, defensive awareness, he doesn't even have statistical growth, that's all natural too, holy crap, that is unbelievable, that's pretty solid. Uh, Ellis is an 88, which is disgusting. Hopefully he gets better still. He's a four green stars, so. Granlin's an 83 now. Um, hmm. I think Skinner, yeah, Skinner's gone up, which is good. All right, it's not bad. AHL Spurgeon is a 77, and Shala is a 77. Wow, he's a three and a half star too. Man, we got some good prospects coming up now. Guy's a 56, although he got like 8 stats plus. Sonier's are both getting better. This guy's a 71 now. He's a 65. Forsberg, 75. Not bad, okay. Alright, let's end it there. We're taking on Calgary Flames in the next round. Woohoo! Get some! <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys! <laughs>